Hello, my name is James and I'm one of the product specialists here at Exclaimer. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of setting up an analytics software, such as Google Analytics, to track the effectiveness of your email signatures. Here, we're looking at a, the page in Google Analytics that shows the effectiveness of your signatures in the campaign you are running. Prior to this call, I have set up Google Analytics to track the traffic that is generated on a certain site. This is a test site and all of the information you see here is generated through our test environment. So you'll see likely a lot less traffic here than you would expect to see. But how have I done this? How have I created this tracking information from my signature? Well, this all starts by building out a URL. Specifically, we're going to use the Google Analytics Campaign URL Builder. Now, this is easily accessible from the Google Analytics tool, but you will find a link to the page on our article about how to create these URLs. Now, when I've navigated here, I will find a whole list of fields and attributes that I can fill in when I'm creating my URL with the UTM parameters. I do have some mandatory ones, including my website URL. It's very important here to populate this field with the, the domain that I am tracking in Google Analytics. Any other domain simply won't connect to my analytics software. So it's vastly important that this is the domain that you intend to track traffic to. Beyond this, I have to specify a campaign source. Now, if there are any of these attributes that you are unfamiliar with, Google do include on this page further down a whole list of these attributes and what they are there to achieve. You can read further details here about why you might want to include some of these attributes in your link. I have filled out my details here to do with everything I am trying to achieve here including uh, a campaign content. So I know exactly what I am linking from in case I want to do A-B testing for different contents to track their effectiveness against each other. Once I have generated all of this information into these fields, Google is creating this URL for me to use in my signature. So I can simply select this, copy this, and move over to the Exclaimer Cloud portal. Here I am in my Exclaimer Cloud portal looking at the signatures that I have to use. And the particular signature I am trying to track traffic from is this main signature. So I'm now going to open up my design, click on the specific element I am linking from, which is going to be this particular banner here, which directs to a app download on the Google Play Store, or specifically a landing page on my own dom domain that will redirect here. And in my hyperlink, I'm going to paste the URL that I generated. And you'll see this includes all of the UTM parameters that were added to this URL. Now that this is done, I can exit this section, save my design, and with my design saved, close the designer. Now, this signature, when it is added to emails, will include that banner, which will link to the page and collect the data within analytics for the clicks that have been generated. Now, I mentioned that I may be using different banners in different examples to do A-B testing. And where A-B testing is concerned, I can look at the different uh, content that is being used to generate these clicks in my primary dimension here on my campaigns. So I can click here and look at more dimensions, specifically around acquisition. And if I click here, I can look at the ad content. By clicking this, I would see a breakdown all of the different content that I was using to generate clicks for this campaign. Here you're seeing not set simply because this wasn't created for our testing. Here you would see the name of the particular element that you were using. 
Hopefully this has given you some more information about how to maybe use analytic software yourself. And in doing so, track the effectiveness of the signatures you are creating with Exclaimer Cloud. For more information, please feel free to contact the product specialist team who are more than happy to go through with this in detail with yourself on a one-to-one -one demo. Many thanks.